The other day with the rope wrench, um, I did some measuring and realized the rope wrench leaves the friction hitch with a pounds in my, at the time, 195 pounds. So it takes a huge percentage, or larger, larger than 50% um, of the workload and leaves a smaller workload to the friction hitch and that's why the friction hitch functions so smoothly with something like the rope wrench. The question I have is what is what is the uh, difference with a cambium saver, with a ring-to-ring -ring friction saver, with a, an efficient pulley when it comes to the performance and wear of your friction hitch and the, uh, the smoothness of it. All right, just to establish how much I weigh today, that includes climbing boots, carabiners. I got a whole load of carabiners, you know, lots of stuff. So anyway, right around 200 pounds. Safe to say 200 pounds. And amazing with 200 pounds, I'm seeing as little as 15 to 20 pounds on my friction hitch. Okay, this is with a caterpillar style cambium saver suspended from the tree I'm seeing about a hundred pounds which makes sense with my 200 pounds maybe 205 anyway depending on which side of the friction I'm on I'm so I'm going to do a descent and at the bottom we'll look at this chart and see what kind of friction we had going down Now some of that comes from the fact that I'm pulling down on the friction hitch. So when I stop, that's significant. So that's about 70 pounds. And when I pull down, obviously I'm taking some of the work. So my friction hitch is really only seeing, that's, a, that's, that's really interesting to me. My friction hitch is really only seeing about 30 pounds. I take my hands off, it goes to about 80 pounds. But when I pull down again, I'm doing some of the work. So again, that's, that's what my friction hitch is seeing right now. What is connected to the enforcer is what my friction hitch sees. Right now it sees 78 pounds. When I put my hand up there, I'm actually pulling down and it goes to about 30 pounds. So the friction hitch is really working well at about 30 pounds. When you start putting much more on it, they don't work very well, they lock up. There's 18 pounds, there's 16 pounds. When I stop, again it goes to about 70 pounds. If I sit here a while and I pull on both ends and try to reestablish and take out the friction, just hanging, it goes back to about 110 pounds, 100 and maybe I'm fatter than I thought I was today, but anyway, so about 110 pounds. Once again, if I reach up and I start taking the friction myself, that friction hitch is seeing 10 pounds, 8 pounds, 14, 16. So there's the graph of what we just did. You can see right here is where the descent started. And then as we went down, it went from 120. But generally, while I was operating the friction hitch, it was between 60 pounds. And then when I was going slower, you could see it going all the way down to the teens. All right, just because I find this rather amazing to me, how little weight or how much force, how little force is actually going on the friction hitch and a descent using a cambium saver, Caterpillar cambium saver. I'm gonna do this again. So if I'm just doing a nice slow descent, I am only seeing about 25 pounds, about 25 pounds of force 
on that friction hitch. That's all that's going to the friction hitch. It's 25 pounds. All right, this is with a very efficient Pinto rig pulley DDRT with the same friction hitch as used with the Cambium friction saver. And here's my graph. I'm starting out at about my 100 pounds. I would expect it to be a little bit more friction than before. And indeed, I'm seeing 60, 70, 68, 50, coming to a stop, I'm seeing 85, 60 pounds and just gently bumping into the tree but I don't think that has any effect. This is a leather cambium saver. I know mine looks a little bit different but it's because I've made it midline detachable but nonetheless it's the same we get on this. Last time with the Pinto rig I saw more friction on my hitch. With a Caterpillar cambium saver I saw a lot less friction on the hitch and so let's see what we get with this there's 24 pounds 30 pounds 28 pounds it appears to be very similar to the caterpillar 30 pounds maybe actually even a little more efficient 30 pounds I'm seeing about 30 pounds on the hitch, 22, 26, 36, 